everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And last month we started doing standard and wild tier lists, going over my personal tier three, three, three tier system of decks for both standard and wild, what I felt is the strongest, and you guys seem to really receive it well, and thought I'd do it again this month. So, like last month, we're going to have tier one, tier two, tier three, three decks in each tier for both standard and wild. Tier 1 being the absolute best decks in the meta, Tier 2 being very good decks that are just a bit below, and Tier 3 try and highlight some more fringe decks that can definitely get you a legend push. This video will be standard, so if you want to check out the wild tier list, make sure you drop a sub on the channel and you'll get that video in your feed tomorrow. So, let us start out with the Tier 1 decks. Last time we started with Tier 3, but this time we're going to start with Tier 1 because a lot of the times it's like, well, tier two, th tier three can't beat the tier one deck, so let's start with tier one. Number one on the list, still on the list, despite being nerfed 12 times, is Tempo Demon Hunter. It's been, yeah, nerfed 12 times with the most recent nerf being a Twin Slice, which was changed from zero mana, uh, deal one damage, to one mana, deal two damage, and you get the second slice, which is also one mana. Um, the deck is still just the best. Warglaives carries it against, like, everything. Metamorphosis is still extremely powerful. It still only has a negative matchup spread to Warrior. The, uh, mainly Egg Warrior and somewhat Bomb Warrior. It just does everything, and people constantly hit Rank 1 Legend with it. People hit Legend with it very easily that haven't before. It's a Juggernaut. It really should be toned down and hopefully will be at some point. But yeah, still the best deck. And, well, what's the second best deck? Another Tier 1 deck? It's, well, naturally it's Counter. Egg Warrior or Rage Warrior. Um, highlighting an egg variant here with, like, Terran Gorfi and the, uh, the eggs. You basically can fight reasonably early game with your, your one-drop pirates. And, of course, you got Skipper, Armorsmith, Battles, Battle Rage to draw your deck. Get your Brood out there. Trade. All that stuff. The deck is just very good. And also has an insane matchup spread against a lot of stuff. Its main weakness being like Priest or like it can struggle a bit against like Highlander Mage at times. Stuff like that. But overall it beats up on any like board based deck that doesn't cheat a bunch of stuff. Or play a lot of big stuff. So yeah. And Rage Warrior still a juggernaut. You can see that the balance, pit ch <laughs> the balance changes haven't done a heck of a lot to change up this tier list since last month. But hey. Um, last month I also had Bomb Warrior tier 1. I have bumped it down. It has fallen off a little bit. And I'm putting in its spot Spell Druid. Um, Spell Druid is just all over ladder. It it can just scam any deck. You get that ramp, you get your breath, you get it into your overgrowth, you hit Mount Cellar, and cheat a bunch of mana and get a bunch of three drops. You beat almost everything in the game. Um, it can struggle against early aggression if you miss your ramp, so it's very high rolly that way, but too many people have had too much success and the deck is just too popular not to put it tier one i don't think it's at the strength of warrior and demon hunter but i'm gonna put it on here it's close but if i was to only limit if i was to limit my, not limit myself to have to put three decks in tier one it probably wouldn't make the cut but very very powerful deck and you certainly can do very well with it and get like very high ranks and all that so on to tier two i mentioned how bomb warrior was tier one last month it's fallen off a bit. It's down to tier two. I find the druids aren't as prevalent. Like, it was really good to farm druid, but there's a lot more priest on ladder. It doesn't, like, farm demon hunter the way you want it to. Like, it beats demon hunter, but not overwhelmingly. You really rely on hitting skipper armorsmith. Like, you hit the wrench calibers, you hit your light game, you're screwed. You really have to hit a specific cards with it. Whereas, like, with... With Tempo Demon Hunter, you have, like, Warmall Challenger and stuff like that. So, yeah. I mean, the tiers are really dictated by what beats Demon Hunter. And Bomb Warrior just doesn't do it well enough. It does great against Spell Druid, but it's not fantastic against Egg Warrior. And can struggle mightily against, like, Highlander Hunter and stuff like that. So, solid Tier 2 deck. It's just not quite the Tier 1 deck that I saw it as last month. Next, I have Tier 2 is Galakron Priest. Uh, the deck just performs very well. I've seen, like... A lot of people perform still very well with it. It can counter, it counters Warrior, which is like the most popular class outside of Demon Hunter. And it can hold its own against Demon Hunter. It certainly doesn't beat it, but with the builds with like Vile Fine, like the, uh, the Dormant guys, a lot of people run that. With Apotheosis, you give yourself a shot. Like I do fairly well. 
I'm like still 50-ish percent against Demon Hunter. And when I'm 50-ish percent against Demon Hunter and I beat Warrior, well, the deck's worth playing. I finished like top top 100 on NA and EU last season playing the deck. Like it does just fine. So very solid tier 2 deck. You can't go wrong with it. Your games are long. The mirrors are terrible. But overall, very, very strong. Uh, last on the list, I have Highlander Rogue. This is maybe a bit of a reach, but I've seen a lot of people, a lot of Highlander Rogue on ladder lately. And like top 10, top 1 legend with it. Like you can beat Demon Hunter with it. You can do well, okay, against Warrior with it. It just really, really struggles against Druid. Um, oh, this list by, I think it's from John Bray. I'm not entirely sure. It's just, it's done well. Papa Jason was top 10 with uh, with it recently. And I don't know, there's just not a lot of powerful decks out there. Demon Hunter and Warrior lock so much out. It's really hard to come up with tier 2, tier 3 decks. But it's, it's performing well. It does a good job. And if you high roll with it, I mean, just like every other Highlander deck... It's pretty tough to beat, so gonna put it on there. Not entirely sure if it's really tier two, but gonna give it that go. We'll see if it lasts till next month. Next, we have the tier three decks, and we have a new challenger approaching. We have Q Priest, or you want to call it like Mana to the the Saber Priest, whatever you want to call it. I like calling it Q Priest. You don't technically have a cube, but it's spiritual with cube with the runes and all that. You copy your saber. And basically what you do is you play a bunch of dormant stuff. You give grave runes to it, which lets you copy it. Then you psych split it, making more of it. And your opponent can interact with it. You can apotheosis, get a bunch of lifesteal. And you can overwhelm your opponent. And if you don't do that, well, you have your removal. You have Galakron for your light game with all your infinite generation of spells. Or sorry, minion, priest minions. And of course you have like Murazon and Solmir and all of that. The deck got me to Legend. It's done very well. No Hands Gamer got rank 1 Legend with it. It's kind of a new one. It might not last, but tier 3 is more for the fringe interest, interesting deck, so we're putting that one on there. We also have Highlander Mage. has been performing pretty well. Uh, my friend D Money hit rank 1 Legend with this. He had also finished top 10 Legend with Highlander Mage. He's done an extremely good job with it. And a lot of other people have had success with it. It can beat Warrior. It just struggles really badly against Demon Hunter and Aggression. But it can also lock out Spell Druid and stuff like that. If you freeze their board, Amazing Reno them, all of that. Um, yeah, but it's built around scamming. Scamming with Dragon Caster, Puzzle Box, all of those things. It's a tough one to navigate. You kind of got a high roll, get on that right right roll. So it's not like a consistent tier 1, tier 2 deck to me. But it's a lot of fun, can do really crazy stuff, and can show positive results. And last on the list, Highlander Hunter. It's fallen off even more from, I think I had a tier 2 last month. Um, it's just fallen off. I haven't seen a ton of it on ladder. It does well against like Warrior to an extent, but... It just loses really hard to aggression, like Tempo Demon Hunters is so all over the ladder. And it also loses to Druid pretty hard. So you really need the right matchups. You need to queue into Priest. You need to queue into like Mage and Warrior, uh, certain Warrior decks. But even Warrior can beat you. It's like kind of 50-50. But the deck still, the numbers are really good on like HS Replay. That It's still very strong at all ranks. But overall, the power level just seems to be dropping as it's just kind of weak to the top decks out there. So that's it. That's the standard tier list. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you agree, disagree in the comments. It's always an interesting debate. And again, I'm not listing every tier 1, tier 2, 3 deck out there. These are 9 decks that I'm listing that I found to be the most interesting and the most impactful on the ladder. And again, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Get ready for the wild standard or the wild, the wild tier list. It's coming tomorrow. So hopefully you can check that one out as well. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends. <music>